Hello there everyone, my name is Meg Luke. welcome to FM Scout and today I'm going to be giving you one of my favourite football manager experiments that I did last year uh, on the channel which everyone seemed to really enjoy so I thought I'd bring it back and I've waited a little bit longer before I really thought I would do it but here is Wonder Kid FC and I've made some tweaks to what I did with the experiment last year as of course last year I started it in the Premier League a lot of people in the comments of that video said I should have started it in the lower league. So what I have done, I didn't make it too difficult and go all the way down to the Vanarama National League. I've started it in Skybet League 2. I've taken over Plymouth Argyle, which as you probably know from me just saying it quite often, uh, is my hometown. I am from Plymouth, so I've changed it to Wonder Kid FC and I have added some of the best Wonder Kids of this year's game. I have left some of the big ones out mainly because you guys already know how they develop anyway, but also um, just for the case of that I can do it in other videos in set in different countries. So, like you know, the likes of uh, the German leagues, the Portuguese league, I want to try out all of these leagues. So I'm just going to skip through some of the players here so you can see who I have added. Some of these players are still Plymouth Argyle players. I just didn't get rid of anyone under the age of 18. They will never really play or be good enough. Uh, but I just left them in for the time being. But as you can see, I've put in quite a lot of some of the most popular uh, wonder kids that we have in Football Manager 2020. And I'm quite excited to see how they are all going to develop. Whether they will take this team to the Premier League is what we are hoping for. Um, and I think as well, if I go back to... We also have some more here in the under-23s, the likes of Ryan Cherky. Um, he's quite a popular one this year. So we do have quite a lot of Wonder Kids in this game. The objective is to see what they can do after a few years, see what they can do after 10 years, whether they will win the Premier League. Like last year, uh, the team did not manage to do that. Spoiler alert. So, I mean, if I put all the best ones in, like in Mbappes and people like that, uh, maybe so. But I want to see what these like second grade Wonder Kids do, the ones that aren't as popular as the uh, ones that we all know and love that we all signed. The Erling Haaland, who of course who is in everyone's side, I have uh, purposely missed out for this video. But drop a like on this video if you can. That will be absolutely fantastic because I'm only going to do 10 seasons in this video. Um, and really, whether episode 2 comes out where I go a little bit further and when they're into like their early 30s, Really depends on you guys on whether you really enjoy this video and uh, let me know down in the comments whether you want to see episode 2 because every time we do like a part 2 the views just drop off quite a lot. Um, maybe there's stuff that you want to see at the end of the video so we can put that in part 2. Uh, sort of statistics and positions, that sort of thing. Uh, worldwide stuff. Uh, let me know if I miss anything that you want to see. Let us know down in the comments. For anyone who is also going to ask, because I do get quite a lot of questions every time I do a video for FM Scout, what skin and everything I'm using, everything that I am using today you can find on the FM Scout website, which is a link down in the description. I am using the OCZ Elite skin. Uh, the badges are the Foot B skin, which you can find on the FM Scout website, as well as the face pack too. Right, okay, I've talked enough. Not to mention as well, I haven't mentioned it yet. I have also given Plymouth Argyle a transfer ban. Here we go. Down the bottom here, finances, the transfer ban until 2038. Um, what I have basically done is I've trapped every single player until 2038. So they are, they are going to have to use these players until then. You know, the likes of Esposito, 2038 was when he will finally leave the club. Which means they will never leave. They will always stay here. They will never be unhappy and want to move to a bigger club. Because they always have that transfer in mind. Let's go first, forward one season and see what happens after season one. Uh, before we sort of skip on a few more years and really decipher whether this side is going to grow and develop and everything like that. Here we are then. We are on the page of Wonder Kid FC. It is the 1st of June 2020 and I'm quite disappointed. I did a couple of test runs before I did this episode just to make sure that the database works and everything like that. And they did not finish this far down. They actually got promoted as champions the, f the two times that I did a test. But this time round, they missed out by quite a lot. 
in 8th position. So that is quite disappointing. Troy Parrott is up there with the most goals and player of the matches. Let's dive more into this then and have a look at who's been playing, who's been developing and all that, all that sort of kind of stuff. So we are already on um, appearances. 47 appearances for Esposito with 16 goals. He hasn't developed as much, but he has gone, done quite well in the goals tally. I mean, you, can, you guys can pause this at any point and have a look more, di dive more into this, but it does come, become very apparent some of these players are not going to play a lot, the likes of Bruno Zappelli, who I actually really want to see used quite a lot in this save um, because I've seen him turn out to be a bit of a monster in previous stuff. Average rating then, the best player, Gasp Gasparani, and he's only played one game as the keeper, but Troy Parrott, um, no surprises there with his 19 goals. Vignato as well, the right midfielder, we've seen what he can do in a few videos on here on the FM Scout channel, turns into a very good player indeed. Um, as a sort of profile then, Ryan Lowe keeps his job, um, so it's going to be interesting to see whether the likes of these players just disappear. Um, a key player is this guy, Dominic. I mean, I'm not going to try and pronounce that name because it's difficult to pronounce. But I don't know whether he will stay their key player for long because I don't think he develops that quickly on the game. He's more of a slow burner. Very good player nonetheless, though. The good thing about this skin, by the way, it does tell you the current ability. Some might say that's cheating, um, but the current ability, you can see that. It's more the potential ability that is obviously hidden and you can't see. But it's good for videos like this because we can sort of see where they are in their career. So that's good. You know, you can sort of see how well they develop. So overall, first things first, in the first season, not very good one bit. What I have done as well, I have also given them very good facilities so that they have an exceptional youth academy and youth recruitment. They have state-of-the-art training uh, and good youth facilities. So basically, they are very good at developing youngsters. They are very good at developing um, players because they have great training facilities, but also the regens, the new gens that are going to come through this club could be the best in the world because I've given them the best youth academy and youth recruitment. So we, we should hopefully see some very good new gens come through as well, which everyone loves to see. Okay, let's go forward one more year then just to see if they do get promoted. Well, we was right to just go one more year because they have only gone and done it. They are champions of Skybet League 2. Their balance is also a lot better. I'd imagine they got rid of a lot of players um, and obviously just keep, keep playing these guys. They already have hot prospects, so they've had a youth recruitment date. And to be honest, it's quite good, really. Goalkeeper with 15 reflexes at the age of 17. Irishman as well. Nice to see. The captains has changed, of course. Ryan Lowe's still in charge. He's obviously gone and won it. Have they won it by quite a lot? They have. They smashed that league, really. I mean, they they must have won that league with a fair amount of games to go. Because how that is, like, over 30 points, they won this league. They demolished it. Troy Parrott, 22 goals. Surprisingly, and I find that quite shocking, no one up in the average rating or the assists or the player of the matches must be a very wide team effort. I mean, there you go. Average rating, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. They're all starting to come through now. Uh, let's dive more into the stats of Wonderkid FC itself. So we have appearances. Gasparini uh, cemented himself ha as the first team keeper. He's developed quite nicely. I'm just going to scroll through some of these players. You can pause it as you will. I mean, I want to see that. He looks very good. Ilash Mariba, of course, from Barcelona, um, is a very good player indeed after two years. Not bad whatsoever. Ike Nori, I'm quite interested to see how this guy does because I want to sign him in a few of my uh, saves that I'm doing off camera. Um, of course, I do have a channel myself if you wish to come across. It is Omega Luke Gaming. The link is down in the description. I have Let's Play action, which I'd love for you all to come and join me as well. Um, I sometimes go live as well if you do enjoy some live Let's Play. So that is another option. But let's go more into this. Who's been scoring the goals? It does look like Troy Parrott has been doing it. Esposito has been getting in on the action as well. Some assists, though. We have a few. Jaden Bogle with nine assists. He's producing the goods from right back. Riccardi, not a bad player whatsoever as well. Bad haircut, but still. Um, we have a very... Uh, I mean, that's a centre-back with a fair... Oh, he could be playing CDM, to be fair. It does look like he was playing CDM, if I remember rightly. But so far, so good. After two years, we have promotion. Not bad. Let's go for two more years. Well, well, well. We are now in 2023. 
and we have jumped up a league and it looks like we're going up again. I mean, this is phenomenal growth considering we couldn't get up in the first year. Wonder Kid FC gone up in second position, not too bad either, away from the top. Only five points from Watford of all teams as well. Um, Wonder Kid FC going up to the Premier League in the fourth year. Fourth year? Fifth year. The fifth year, so the fourth season, I think, something like that. I don't know. But Troy Parrott, 26 goals. Let's have a look then at League One to see if they went up as champions. They did indeed go up as champions. We can go back to that uh, through stages. Have a look at League Table. They went up 108 points. They won the league again by 11 points. So they did really piss it, to be honest. Um, but still, very good indeed. Um, let's go back to the championship then uh, and have a look more into this. Wonderkid FC. Troy Parrott's up there. No on the average rating. Are they up there again? Yeah. So Troy Parrott has really cemented himself as the best best player in this team. Riccardi is up there with assists. Uh, he hasn't produced that much like growth. I'm quite surprised with. 22 years of old, 22 years of age now. Mariba is up there as well, and he is already looking absolutely beastly. What's his media? His media description is still a wonder kid. I would not be surprised when he's in the Premier League whether that turns into like a world class midfielder because he does have great stats there. We go more into the players here. I've seen it, have you? Steven Gerrard is the manager of Wonder Kid FC. I didn't notice that to begin with. Did not notice that. It looks like he's playing a very decent formation to what I sort of had in my head when I was picking the players. This is what I thought I should be uh, sort of picking my players around that formation. I'm quite interested to see how he gets on. He turns out to be quite good indeed as well. Very low balance, but we know that will go up with the Premier League money. That is the good thing. Um, we go on to managers then. What happened? He let Ryan Lowe. I mean, silly, silly man. He well, to be fair, he went to the Premier League. I think Villa's in the Premier League. They are in. The, they're not anymore. He's made a mistake there. He, they're not anymore. Funnily enough, they are going to be over. Well, they're going to be relegated, and from that. Um, Wonder Kid FC is going to take their place. Phil Sykes took over in a caretaker role, and then Steven Gerrard came in with 120 days under his belt already. Um, so, playing time. Who's played the most? William Saliba and Gasparini again. Troy Parrott up there as well. Vignato. The same sort of names. If we go further down the list, the likes of Ryan Cherky, who is becoming quite a nice player now at 19. Still quite low physicals, though. Um, he's making his way into the first team. Um, but we, do, we don't We do really have any uh, new gens coming through yet. We will soon see them. I'm wondering whether they have uh, have sold any. So they have. Kyle Cavana has gone to Aston Villa and that serves you right Kyle really doesn't it um, we've had a few go out so Richard Robinson who was in the first season there he's gone out a few different ones there it's be interesting to see how they get on later on but other than that not very many good ones back to this page then uh, we have Troy Parrott in the goals with Ignato in 15 as well Ihatarin coming in with nine goals I wouldn't say he's a striker, but I have seen him been playing up front quite often in different saves, and he just doesn't really have the finishing for it. Uh, Kai George actually has five goals, considering. He must be coming off the bench. Not too bad, if you ask me. Um, assists, then, we have Riccardi there, Mariba, uh, Dominic, Vignato. Ike Nori is also up there as well from left back. Wow, he is very good. I like the look of him already. At 21, he is very good indeed. Player of the matches, Troy Parrott, no surprise. He's probably going to be uh, head on this as well. We do have this guy. Not bad, really. 21, though. Not actually that good. Troy Parrott is up there with a 7.31. Um, Riccardi, Vignato. All of those sort of good players that you'd expect to see up there are up there because they've been scoring the goals or assisting the goals. All right, let's go forward another couple of years then. Here we are then, the, the 1st of June 2025, and well, we have Sean Dyche as manager. Oh, well. Um, back to a 4-4-2, so the, the dream of going for the 4-3-2-1 the formation is out the window. Sean Dyche, flat 4-4-2, of course he is. 170 million in the bank. 
Not so bad whatsoever. Let's find out how they've done in the first couple of years then in the Premier League. Uh, if we go to stages and we go back a season. So in their first year, they actually finished 12th. So they really secured their position by 10 points. Quite nicely done as well. 12 wins, 9 draws and 17 losses. So really they cemented themselves in their first year. Man City winning the league there. Man United and Liverpool, uh, be it fighting out for second position. But that's not what we were worrying about. This year round, ninth position just outside of the European positions by about six points. Not too bad. Cementing themselves as a mid-table side now. This is where they want to push on and become a top-of-the-table side. But that will all depend on their development. Of course, whether they bring in decent scouts, whether that Sean Dyche brings the best out of them and plays the best formation. That is all to be determined by that. We have a look at some of the stats, though. So, appearances. 39, we have uh, Ihatalin, Gasparini, Vignato... Uh, Troy Parrott down there in 31. Maybe he's had a couple of injuries. Does look like he is still the talisman when it comes to this side. What's he look? Oh, look outstanding, isn't he? I mean, that is a very good player. An elite striker already, and he is just at the age of 23. So Troy Parrott, write that one down in your books. Good looking chap as well. Good looking Irishman. Who can deny that? Uh, Esposito up there with some goals as well. Hasn't developed as much as what he has in the test saves now that says something because in the test saves he was one of the best players I've seen at the age of 22 really was and he's just described as a striker now so he hasn't really done that well in this one I mean he's had game times he's not the season before he didn't but this this year he has because of the flat 4-4-2 uh, that reminds me we will have a look at what happened to Steven Gerrard whether he left maybe he's at Liverpool who knows if Hatterland is up there with nine goals, Riccardi with five. Uh, what about assists then? We have 11 assists from Vignato. What's he looking like? Very good player indeed. Uh, Unavar up there as well. He's an impressive player. I'm quite surprised he hasn't been playing up front with attributes like that or attributes. I'm sorry, a lot of people always comment when I say attributes. I know it's just my accent. Attributes. Uh, who else is up there? We have a few who are on quite small amounts. Average rate of note, not as much as what we've seen before, but of course we're in a harder lead now. Uh, Mariba, let's find out. Is it midfield orchestrator? So he's not quite at world class, but I would say that's world class attributes. Attributes, sorry again. Um, at the age of 22. So he has come on leaps and bounds, that's for sure. What about on the history then? They are obviously selling players. They are so they sold a total of 22k this season. That's funny. 700k the year before, 1.9 million before that, and we're back where we started. Well, we're about five or six years now in the future, or five seasons in. Let's go forward a couple more years, and I'm hoping actually before we do that, competition-wise, have they won anything? So if we go to the FA Cup, they haven't got further than the fourth round, which they did. Yeah, this is the only problem with this skin. It's gorgeous to look at, but a couple of these are bad uh, third round and fourth round there so they haven't really won anything in the cups yet i'm hoping when we come back after a couple of years they're pushing for european positions let's find out right so this is the penultimate jump that we're going to do sean dyche is still in charge which reminds me i didn't check what happened to steven gerrard he was sacked wow that surprises me fair enough um is he where is he to now he's at stoke how funny um but anyway Sean Dyche is still the man in charge. We still have the same familiar names here. Um, and we're still playing 4-4-2. So we're making use of our two strikers, but not necessarily of the midfield. Fair enough. We are sixth in the league. So we are in... They're not qualifying for Europe because of cup positions. That's really annoying. That's really frustrating. How do they do in the season in between? They finished ninth again. So two ninth place finishes... And then a sixth position. So we've gone up a little bit. 63 points. That's nothing to be uh, to cry about, to be honest. Uh, let's have a look more at the player stats again. So appearance-wise, the same familiar names. Uh, Goals-wise, what a season Troy Parrott is having. That is phenomenal. Has he been, uh, 24 goals there. And he's played every game in the Premier League. 27 goals there. Troy Parrott is the name of this game so far. Four assists for seven player of the matches. So he is very good indeed, um, is Troy Parrott, the Irishman. 
Esposito has been banging in a few goals. Developed a lot better than what we've seen in the last um, cut before we got to this season. But still a few technicals could be doing with. Uh, he only got nine goals in the season before that. Ihatarin is up there too with nine goals. Assist-wise, Mariba. Come on, give us that. I mean, look at those physicals. That, that's got to be a world-class player. Still a midfield orchestrator. I am still surprised. Right. I'm I'm betting after a year ten we will we will see a lot better player. I'm interested to see what this guy's like. He's been playing quite a lot. Very good indeed. Um average rating wise, Troy Parrot, Esposito Vignato. Um what's he been doing? Yeah, not bad. I've seen him be better. Uh Jaden Bogle's up there as well. Uh playing right midfielder instead of right back, which does shock me, but we are we do have Sean Dyche in charge. Aitz Nori, that's a very good player indeed. Um, so yeah, a few of these players now. Ray Fraser was the name picked as the wonder kid. And it's easy to see why. 18 years old, he is very good, um, Ray Fraser. What We will look at the transfers just one last time. A total of zero outs in this one. And just 375k there. So nothing much is really happening wonder kid wise as in leaving. We do have a balance of 314. How have we been getting on in the Cups? So, uh, I don't see anything there in the Cups uh, whatsoever, FA Cup wise. Third round and quarterfinals. We got to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. That's not too bad. Um, and EFL Cup quarterfinals again, West Brom on penalties. Devastating. One last time then, we're going to go 10 years in the future before the end of this episode, so it's not too long. And if you do want to see more, like I said, drop a like on the video and let us know down in the comments. That would be fantastic. We'll gauge it from your opinions and your opinions only. Let's go forward up until 10 seasons. Here we are then. We are 2030. We still have Sean Dyche, and I feel like Sean Dyche is the reason why we are still finishing in ninth position. I'm quite devastated with that. We're still playing the 4-4-2. We have not... I mean, Sean... They're, they're keeping him in a job because he's securing them money. I mean, 516 million. That type of money has never been seen down in these parts of the country. Um, and he's... I mean, how long has he been in charge now? Six and a half years in charge, Sean Dyche. Is that the reason why it's costing us? I don't know. Let us know down in the comments whether you think that is the reason why. Uh, so, okay, 6th place was the last place we finished. Then ninth, then 8th, then ninth. So, really, they haven't been able to break. Even Brighton and West Ham are finishing above us here. Um, quite embarrassing, I think, considering the type of players we have at our disposal here. Uh, let's go straight on to it then. Appearances. Mariba, most appearances at the club. Outstanding player. Gorgeous stats to look at, or attributes to look at. Um, there it is. I'm happy. I can end this this episode happy. World class midfielder. I'm buzzing with that. So I think he's brilliant. I, he's one of my favourite Warner kids on this game. He's the first person I wanted to put on this list. Mariba, fantastic stuff. Gasparini, how have you been doing? You've been doing okay, I suppose. Um, these guys now should be hitting their peak. They're roughly 28 years old. Oh, look at that, Troy Parrott. Outstanding stuff. If this video doesn't make you even put in a scout report for Troy Power at the start of your saves, if you're doing a, a top, you know, uh, top league uh, save, then I don't know what will. It had to be not too bad, not too bad at all. Um, Hoover, okay. Riccardi, not bad. Very good mentals. Uh, those technicals, though, I wish were better. Saliba, Arsenal centre back, very good physicals, not the best technicals. Vignato. He's all right. He's classed as an elite winger, but I would like to see a few more better greens than what has been up there. Um, he's very consistent with the assists, though. So maybe he has good consistency. This guy now, obviously, touted as the first uh, key player for Wonderkid FC. Hasn't come on that well. Um, and Van Hoosen, very good player. Those mentals are stunning to look at, to be fair. Um, but other than that, Richard Harris now is starting to cement his position. I think he's played a few. Uh, yes, he has. He's played a lot in the Premier League this season. 
and he is sort of like the new right back. So Jaden Bogle has dropped down um, from the bench. Quite interesting indeed. Karamoko Dembele, a lot of you guys will be interested to see how he's developed. He hasn't played that much, to be honest. Bit of a bit part player and hasn't developed that much either. Well, well, well. Well, one last thing we will look at is the transfer history and, of course, the Cups to see how they've been getting on. We have, obviously, uh, just missed out on Europe, so we won't be able to see that in this episode. No sort of um, anything big transfer-wise. Competitions, then. Oh, I can see it. The FA Cup runners-up and the winners of the Carabao Cup. So we have won a cup. That's good. I'm happy with that. We can end the episode on a high because we lifted the EFL trophy by beating Wolves. So that is not too bad whatsoever. But we did lose in the FA Cup final. We lost to Chelsea. Um, so not too bad, really. I'm quite happy with that. I was expecting slightly a bit, bit of a bigger push, but I'm sorry for all of you Burnley fans or just fans of Sean Dyche because he is a legend, isn't he? I mean, I consider him a bit of a legend. Uh, and I've never supported a team that he's managed, but I I just like him. He's got a very cool voice, isn't he? Sean Dyche, as manager, I do feel like it's affected um, this save slightly because they've had some very weird and quirky managers uh, in the two tests. This I'm quite interested with. Reputation is now continental. Not bad. And the finances, of course, rich. Well, that is it for this episode. I'm sorry if it's dragged on quite long, but there's so many things that I wanted to check and make sure you can have a look at uh, and see. So let me know down in the comments if you do want a second episode. And if you do want that second episode, what it is you want to see. We're going to go probably to 2038 if we do do that second episode. So that we have up until everyone leaves and see what their, their final destiny that they left on this club really was. But my name is Omega Luke. Like I said earlier, if you're looking for some Let's Play action, the link to my channel is down in the description below. Have a very good Conquering Scandinavia save going on and potentially a very good live save that I will be doing uh, probably on Sunday nights. So if you do wish to come over and join me, that would be absolutely fantastic. Really love all the support that you guys have given me so far. The ones that have come across from these videos. Really appreciate it and I hope that plenty more of you will come as well. So my name is Mega Luke. Like I said already, subscribe to the channel for plenty more videos coming out on FM Scout and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.